We're just weeks away from next year's conf and Sanity is the diamond sponsor of the conference. We've supported it for many years now. And I've been tasked this year with putting together our conference talk, which I'm very excited about, but also it's a very difficult needle to thread because I've been to conferences like these before and you always know the sponsor talk They've got something to sell. So I thought it might be fun to pull back the curtain and get to know the people behind the program before they get up on stage. Because I really want you to believe, because I know it's true, that the engineers at Sanity and the things that we are building are of major benefit to everybody in the entire ecosystem. Our engineers, though they're not as chronically online as I am, are incredible contributors to the open source community. I know the things that Sanity creates, we will ship open standards for, content source maps, portable tech, Text, Grok, our query language that we use extensively here at Sanity. We're not just getting up there to sell something that nobody wants. People can see through that. I respect the audience too much. Everybody knows when they're being sold to. People want to be entertained. So I want to go through my own personal beliefs of what I think makes a great conference talk, even if it is by a sponsor. Number one is you've got to be authentic. People as I said, can see straight through being sold to by people who aren't enthusiastic, don't understand either the product that they're representing or the audience that they're speaking to. We are React developers and we're speaking to React developers. We've done extensive work integrating the Sanity client with the Next.js cache. Uh, we've put an awful lot of investment in making sure our technology works very closely with Next.js and everything else in the rest of the ecosystem as well. The Sanity Studio itself is an open source React application you can put inside of a Next.js application, if you like. Number two, I think, is vulnerability, and that's probably an extension of being authentic. Uh, that's why in conference talks, it's always great when someone gives a war story of that bug they pushed to production or that thing that they shouldn't have done, but they'll admit to it, and it sort of establishes some empathy between the speaker and the audience. And I'll even share one of those right now. In this vlog, I gave a conference talk. It was only a lightning talk a number of years ago in Amsterdam. I only went for 10 minutes, was a sponsored talk, but I sat with a group of guys after the conference and they were all speaking about some of the talks from the day and I don't think they recognized that I was actually the one that they were speaking about and they said oh that guy was so funny he was really entertaining and then his talk just turned into an ad and uh, so I, I got up and, and walked away. And uh, my apologies to those people who felt that way. I have been consoled by others in that time since saying, well, everybody on stage has got something to sell. Uh, but yes, maybe I pushed the envelope too far. Lesson learned. My bad. I'll put my hand up and say that I'll do better next time. Anyway, I want you to use sanity, but that's because I think it's the very best thing, as well as the fact that I, I work there. A good conference talk, great conference talk has to be entertaining. And to the point where I think it needs to be entertaining first, primarily entertaining. It can't just be, I can read a blog. I can watch a video afterwards if I want to just straight up learn something. I can read the manual. Some people will print the docs. I can do those things. But if I'm going to a conference, I want to have some fun. I want to be entertained. And I think that's really got to be primarily off the top, a real major concern. And lastly, I think the live demo is a really important part mostly because it, it builds an awful lot of tension in the audience. There's The stakes instantly increase. I think everybody holds their breath a little bit. And everybody's on your side. I don't think I've ever been in a room where the vibe has been everybody wants the live demo to fail. Everybody wants it to succeed. And when it does, particularly if there's been a hitch, when it succeeds, everybody's on the same page. Everybody loves it. So I, I think the live demo is a, is a must, though it does dramatically ratchet up the stakes. So, I mean, that's my current thoughts going into Next.js Conf and certainly the planning of it. And my plan is to continue to make a few short videos like these in the lead up so that you might get to know who are these people behind Sanity, what is it they're doing, so that when we hit the stage uh, in San Francisco in a few weeks, end of October, that you will know that these engineers, these people who, yes, they come from a product that they want to sell, they are every bit as serious about making awesome applications just as you are. And it's not just me on stage either. Simon, our CTO, is going to be there. Cap, who you've just seen take the cup world by storm in recent weeks at Laracon, she'll be there as well. We're going to put on a shot. We're going to be entertaining. And we're going to show you something that is going to make your app better.